Well, Julie, the reason that this whole process was so contentious is that in 2016, Senate Republicans refused to confirm President Obama's nomination for Supreme Court justice during an election year. But now, eight days before the 2020 election, a conservative justice is appointed. The nomination of Amy Coney Barrett of Indiana to be an associate justice of the Supreme Court of the United States is confirmed. After a majority vote in the full Senate, Judge Amy Coney Barrett became Associate Justice Amy Coney Barrett in a Rose Garden ceremony sworn in by Justice Clarence Thomas before President Donald Trump. It's a privilege to be asked to serve my country in this office. It was a swift but contentious process following the death of Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Democrats making one last plea today to wait until after the election to continue with the nomination process. You can't spell shameful without sham. And that's what Senate Republicans have turned this Supreme Court nomination process into, a sham. In his final argument on the floor, Majority Leader Mitch McConnell said this is the result of successful elections. Well, they, don't, they don't like the outcome. Well, the reason this outcome came about is because we had a series of successful elections. <laughs> Coney Barrett's appointment leaves the high court with six conservatives to just three liberals. Democrats warn the future of the Affordable Care Act is now in doubt and potentially more. In their speeches, President Trump and Justice Coney Barrett disputed those fears. She will issue rulings based solely upon a faithful reading of the law and the Constitution as written, not legislate from the bench. It is the job of a judge to resist her policy preferences. It would be a dereliction of duty for her to give in to them. And the Senate vote was a party line vote with the exception of uh, Republican Senator Susan Collins from Maine. She was the only Republican to vote no today. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Lou.